Hello everyone, Zadex Squared here. Finally back, ready to make a new video, and I just wanted to talk about actually something old. Originally I was going to make something using Strand or New Exotics or something like that, but then I started looking at stuff and realized that there's actually a new fragment for Solar that makes an old build of Solar really, really good this season. That happens to be Ashen Wake. Now, Ashen Wake Solar Titan is incredibly strong at general play ad clear, especially in raids or in strikes. It doesn't fare quite as well in GMs, and that's partly due to its survivability and the fact that killing ads with grenades is a little bit harder when they're that tanky. But this season we got a new fragment on Solar, and that is Ember of Resolve, which whenever you get a kill with your Solar Grenade, cures you. This is incredibly helpful for staying alive when you are using something that is not a healing nade. And pairing it together with Ashen Wake, which turns your fusion nades into insta-shot nades rather than the time delay ones that you normally get from fusion. Which basically makes them a lot stronger, makes them faster, makes them easier to play with. And it makes them really good at clearing out groups of ads by just throwing them into a small group. It also makes it so that whenever you kill something with a fusion nade, it gives you back some grenade energy so that you can use them more frequently. I've decided to pair this together with Roaring Flames, Soul Invictus, obviously Ember of Resolve like I was saying earlier, Ember of Benevolence, Ember of Blistering, and Ember of Ashes, which just basically makes it so that whenever you're hitting things, you're getting back more and more energy, you're scorching more things for more, which helps you get back your grenade faster, and then pairing it together with... Ashen Wake means that you're going to get a lot of grenade energy whenever you kill something. I'm also pairing this together with Ashes to Assets, so you're getting your super more frequently. Stacks on Stacks is going to give you more armor charge whenever you get, pick up an Orb of Power. Font of Focus is going to give you grenade energy whenever you use your grenade, which is then going to make it easier for you to use your grenade again. Bomber is going to make it so that whenever you use your class ability, you get more grenade energy back, and charged up is going to make it so that you can hold more stacks of armor charge. Rounding this all out, I'm using Conditional Finality, which is the new raid exotic, Callus Mini Tool with Incandescent, and a Code Duelo just for some general ad clear. If you don't have Conditional Finality, something like Sunshot would be really good here, giving you more ignitions, which is going to help you get your grenade back faster due to the fragments that you're using. I tested out this build in both an easier activity, being Defiant Battlegrounds, and a harder activity, being a Legendary Lost Sector. I was about 20 power under for the Lost Sector, which is fairly difficult it's getting to be GM level. It's not quite there, though. In the Defiant Battlegrounds, this build works incredibly well. I'm able to throw a grenade into a group of enemies. It's going to one-shot all of them unless they are a boss or a very tanky major. If it kills more than four of them, it's going to give you your grenade back, at which point you can throw your grenade on another group of enemies. In the Lost Sector, it didn't fare quite as well. I had to play a little bit more passively. I couldn't just run around spamming grenades everywhere. I had to play my life as it was. And I wouldn't really recommend this build in these higher content activities, something like a GM. It's still not going to be too effective. And that's mostly just due to the fact that you're not doing enough damage to normal enemies. If you can stack up Roaring Flames to times 3 it is going to kill the red bars and give you a much better shot of actually doing it. But without something to buff either your grenade or your hammer in the first place, it's very hard for them to actually kill anything to stack up to Roaring Flames times 3 But that being said, if you play with it enough, it is going to be viable if you can get it to Roaring Flames times 3. Then you can just start throwing it into groups of enemies as you would in a general activity. Kill enough things to get your grenade back. It's just more difficult to do than it would be in a normal activity. And the build doesn't give you quite enough survivability for me to play it over some of the other strong builds in the game right now. As you can see, the general loop is just throw your grenade at things. Use your two solar weapons. In my case the exotic shotgun, and my callus mini tool to just create a bunch of explosions, make some scorch for ignitions, and get your grenade back that way. Then use your grenade, and if you kill enough things with it, you can use it again, and again, and again, and eventually you'll create enough orbs 
that you can just pick up a bunch of orbs and then throw it at something like a boss or at a major that you're not 100% certain you'll kill. And you'll just get your grenade energy back automatically from your grenade kickstart, which is going to enable you to then throw another grenade. It's very strong to be able to just keep throwing your grenades at large groups of enemies. It's really helpful in any activity where there's going to be lots of adds. I can see it being really good in dungeons or raids where there's large groups of adds that are hard to deal with. And in just general play and stuff like strikes, it will be moderately good. I wouldn't throw it at a single enemy unless, you know, it's the only thing left, but you can. And using something like a sunshot or an incandescent mini tool is going to be enough to get your grenade back and you won't have to worry about it. For something like the Law Sector, you're going to want to play back a little bit more. You're going to want to just sit behind cover, use a grenade to throw at, you know, Scions in this case, or, you know, any enemies that you've damaged a little bit. You can pop your barricade down to get your grenade energy back and repeat the process. You do have to rely a little bit more on your guns here. I am using both my mini tool and the conditional finality in order to kill some of these adds. Conditional finality is pulling a lot of weight here, though. It is incredibly strong, and I don't necessarily recommend this build for lost sectors when you're at least when you're this far under level. If I was at 1830 rather than at 1811, like I am, it would be much better. It would play a lot better. It would be a lot more effective at actually killing these things, and I wouldn't be dying as frequently frequently to things. But unfortunately, this is more in line with what it's going to be like to play a GM. And for that, I can't really recommend it. But for most other activities where you're not this far under level, it's going to play great. Anyway, if you like the build, please let me know. If you have any suggestions for this build or future builds, throw them down in the comments below. And I will be sure to take a look at them and see what you guys are coming up with on your end. Lightfall's brought a lot of interesting things. I can't wait to share some of the things that I've been looking at. I don't necessarily want to be showing off some of the things that I think a lot of people are looking at. But if I think of anything that would put my own specific twist on them, I would definitely do that as well. That being said, thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time.